structure I am going to evaluate limit x tend to 0 1 minus cos mx divided with 1 minus cos nx. So let's see the answer. So first here writing the given limit x tend to 0 1 minus cos mx divided with 1 minus cos nx. So we should use this formula 1 minus cos 2x that is 2 sin square x 1 minus cos x that is equal to 2 sin square x by 2 1 minus cos mx so when 2 then 1 then 1 then 1 by 2 then mx then mx by 2 2 to sin square mx by 2 so writing here limit x tend to 0 so this we can write 2 sin s square mx by 2 and this we can write 2 sin square nx by 2 so 2 to cancel now after that we can write here limit x tend to 0 so this we can write sin mx by 2 whole square and there we need to multiply mx by 2 whole square so they are going to write mx by 2 whole square so this I multiply because here mx by 2 next is sin nx by 2 is there so this is whole square so we need to divide with nx by 2 whole square and here nx by 2 whole square after that so after doing this limit x tend to 0 sin mx by 2 here mx by 2 whole square this we can write m square x square by 4 and this we can write 1 by sin nx by 2 here nx by 2 and this here n square x square by 4 so this x square this x square cancel after that here we know the formula limit x tend to 0 sin x by x that is equal to 1 so suppose this is x this is x so sin x by x that is equal to 1 so this return here 1 is square and this here m is square by 4 and this here 1 into this return or uh, this return 1 and there is n square and uh, this return 1 and here there is uh, n square and this 4 that move up so 1 by 4 so 4 4 cancel now here you can get m square by n square so this is the answer of this limit question so this 4 move up and there is n square and this 4 that cancel if you want then directly you can cancel and here you can get m square by n square so this is the way we can find the limit of this question so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank